Recently, Yarra Rangers TV visited a group of ladies in Emerald who have become involved in an extraordinary project called Grandmothers to Grandmothers. This project helps grandmothers in developing nations in Africa deal with the fallout of the AIDS epidemic. In many cases, children have lost both parents and have been infected with the disease themselves, their grandparents being their only surviving carers. I asked Margaret Hunter, one of the founding members, why she and her friends became involved in this project. There was a, a documentary by foreign correspondent on the ABC which told us about the Stephen Lewis Foundation and how the Western grandmothers were fundraising for the grandmothers who were trying to raise AIDS orphans. And several of us found, saw the documentary and I ran Canada and they said there was no groups here, would I like to start one? So I said yes and then I was a little bit worried about what I'd said yes to. Um, so through the Emerald U3A I had a night where a delegate from the AIDS conference came and talked to us and these ladies came along. And that was sort of the second thing for me because the foreign yeah. correspondent got me thinking about it and then yeah. That happened, and that's where we started. Yeah, we decided yeah. to start a group. And I responded to the U3A uh, experience, and I was absolutely inspired by Meg's dedication. She was really caught up in this, and I could see that there was something really behind it. I just well, it, it really is your passion, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You've uh, carried us along. I went to Africa with the foundation last year and looked at the projects in Zambia they operate in 15 sub-Saharan African countries. But these women are amazing. They are so strong. And imagine having our grandchildren to bring up, but they're bringing theirs up when they're HIV positive and they're in abject poverty. And the grandmothers are really fighting for the human rights to be educated, to have a voice, and they're really starting to get somewhere. They're not sitting there looking for handouts. They're out there trying to improve their life, and the, especially the grandchildren's life. And I'm inspired by the emphasis on education. I think the education yeah. of these young people is, is the future of their country. And I'm also inspired by the fact that our small efforts here go directly to the recipients. Stephen Lewis Foundation is uh, uh, saving money on travel around the world and they're, they're not charging money for administration so our money goes directly to the beneficiaries. And these days the grandmothers have been educated and done business courses, carers courses and they give us their budgets and it's never what you think that their budget's going to be. Uganda wanted soap and that's vital when you're dealing with HIV AIDS they got soap um, and Zambia they had just bought desks because up till then the children to Ovani school were sitting on the floor to do their lessons. How much better was it for them to sit on desks? And the, the, the running compulsory saving groups and all sorts of things now. And Setting going up micro loans. Yeah, yeah. micro loans. Going out and caring for the people that are six doing AIDS testing on people and even the men are starting to get involved which is a totally new concept. Well, it's very it's empowering for these mm -hmm. people. They, they receive power through the efforts that we make. And what we do doesn't seem like a huge amount that to, when we tell people here but when it gets over there what can be done with what we raise. Mm. So. Okay, tell me how you can become involved. Well, you can get the contact details for us. I will help any group that wants to start in Victoria. Um, they can get the contact numbers and I'll go out and help them start up a group. Um, we've been doing that. Um, we've got quite a number of groups starting now. There's some in New South Wales. Uh, we've got quite a few in Victoria. And in May, we are going to have a visit from Ida Makuka, 
who is a Zambian lady who is herself HIV and has had has an absolutely amazing story to tell and she will be visiting all the groups that have registered and talking to them and talk, teaching them more about what's going on in Africa. And you can join us here at two o'clock on the second Monday of the month at St Joseph's Catholic Church in Emerald. But we are not in any way bound to any churches. It's totally non-denominational. Um, it's just that we've been allowed to have our meetings here at no cost. We haven't got a website as yet, but they can ring um, on 0478-220-950 or they can write to the secretary at 15 Steel Road, Emerald and we'll get back to them.